One of the PlayStation 5's most beloved features is the extremely fast SSD that allows games to boot with minimal loading. Well, as promised, expandable storage options are now available to both the disc and digital PS5s, and today I'll be showing you how to install the Samsung 980 Pro 1 terabyte M.2 SSD. Thanks for watching 9 to 5 Toys. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell to enable notifications so you don't miss any upcoming videos. While you can plug in an external hard drive to the PS5 like you would the PS4, it only allows you to store PS5 games there, not play them directly off the hard drive. That means for the base PS5, we are limited to around 667 gigabytes of space. Now the PS5 has very efficient file sizes, but you're still limited to a few storage heavy games at a time. Thankfully, the expanded storage upgrade is out of beta and PS5 users can take full advantage of everything an M.2 SSD provides. If you're familiar with building PCs at all, the M.2 drive is nothing new, but this is entirely new to the console realm. Unlike Xbox's expansion options, the NVMe drive is widely available for usage in your PC or PS5, as long as they meet a few requirements, mainly a write speed above 5,500 megabits per second, a 22 mm width, capacity anywhere from 250 gigabytes to 4 terabytes with PCIe Gen 4 interface, and, and this is important, a heatsink. Luckily, we're working with the Samsung 980 Pro 1 terabyte here with a write speed of 7,000 megabits per second and included heatsink ready to plug and play. The included heatsink is a great touch since most NVMe drives for PCs don't require them and you don't have to purchase and install it separately. Before we get started, make sure to turn your PS5 off the whole way, not just putting in a rest mode, and download the latest updates to ensure compatibility. So if you have your screwdriver and SSD, let's go ahead and pop off the PS5 cover. So we're going to flip the PS5 over and take off the bottom cover. So grab each corner and we're going to do a lift and slide maneuver. It can be a little tricky, so don't be afraid to give it some force. Now that we have that off, you can see the expansion slot right here, so we'll take our screwdriver and pop that off. Once we open that up, you'll see another screw and a spacer. Take those off and set them aside. Then, place your spacer where the edge of your SSD will end up. For the Samsung 980 Pro, we're going to place it here. Now take your SSD and gently plug it in at a diagonal. Now that that's plugged in, bend it down to meet the spacer and take the screw we set aside and screw it back in. Make sure it's secure. Then we can reassemble the PS5 by screwing the expansion cover back on and then putting your plates back on. Once that's all together and you plug everything in, boot it up and you'll be prompted to format the new SSD. Let that do its thing and you're good to go. When you have everything ready, you can then transfer games over to play them directly off your new storage, which is super quick and easy. The write speeds on the 980 Pro really shine here, making storage management a breeze. Load times are virtually identical between the PS5 and the SSD in my testing, and transferring games from your PS5 to the SSD was surprisingly fast. This expansion is perfect if you find yourself constantly having to choose which games to uninstall, just to make room for the newest releases which balloon in storage requirements every year. Personally, I'm choosing which games to offload fairly often, but I play a lot of single player games. I honestly expect this upgrade to last me the entire life of my PS5. Anything above one terabyte would be overkill for me. But if you like downloading every single Call of Duty game that releases and keeping them on your hardware for years, Samsung has a two terabyte option available. Overall, the Samsung 980 Pro is a great choice for not just your PlayStation, but also your next gaming PC build. Have you upgraded your PS5 yet, or are you planning to in the future? Let us know in the comments below. This is Dom with 9to5toys.